Today I'm going to be detailing the charging system inconsistencies uh, on on the Humber. It's fitted with the Lucas RB310 uh, voltage current regulator and it's that component that has been causing me some uh, some consternation. So I'll show you that now. Switch on. So that's a tick over. Battery voltage now is 12.1. Obviously it's not charging because it's not, uh, the engine speed isn't high enough to cut in the dynamo. But if I increase the revs, the ammeter shows a charge, which is good. Ignition light goes out and our voltage is increasing. Now, what I would expect uh, the ammeter to show is not so not so much bothered about volts just for the time being, although they are important as well. But what I would expect the ammeter to show is if I can get that without a reflection, no I can't really. What I would expect the ammeter to show is a high initial charge just to replenish uh, the battery from uh, after using the starter motor and then I would expect the needle to fall back down to show a trickle charge of uh, a few amps and then the volts are also rising now this the ideal figure should be around that's often quoted is around 14 thereabouts and this is actually not so bad 13.8 you know it's a 12 volt system 12 volt battery so that's actually not so bad so as you can hear I've held the revs you know reasonably high there but the the issue I have is that if I bring uh, switch on any load, say the blower motor, which I do, uh, I'm making free use of today because it's pretty cold, the voltage drops, the ammeter also drops, and then switch on the lights as well, so that's headlights on. Now, this is not an unreasonable load at all, of course. Uh, lights and uh, and blower motor, so I'll rev that up a bit, a bit more, increase engine speed, and as you can see, the system is not balancing the load, so the voltage has dropped to 12.2, which is uh, pretty, pretty much battery voltage, and um, the ammeter. It's also not balanced. Now, oh, you can see me in there as well. <laughs> Reflections. But you can see that. Whereas what I would expect uh, is you switch the load on and it's balanced by the ammeter. You know, it reacts, reacts in a second or two and then it still shows a trickle charge. So I've got 12 volts, 12 volts going through the uh, system. That's just you know wired up to the uh, back of the wiper switch there. So that's what's going through the car's electrical uh, system. So imagine if I brought the wipers into use as well, and that would drop even further. So I'll just come off the uh, the accelerator there. It's ticking over again and you can see it's a discharge of about approximately 10 amps or so battery voltage 11.3 speed this up speed the engine up you can see the uh, warning lights come on 
because uh, the cutout is opened. Speed it up, cutout closes, dynamo starts charging, but it's still showing a discharge. Now, over a prolonged period, you know, on a long journey, with the lights on and the blower on, that would uh, actually discharge the battery. Rev up a bit more. That sounds like about about 3,000 engine RPM there, maybe 2,500 RPM. Not good. I switch the uh, switch the blower off, switch the lights off. Voltage increases. Just drop the revs a bit. On the way here, I've had this monitoring, you know, for a, a good week or two now. Whilst I've been going going out driving around. And the, the readings have varied anywhere from about 12 volts to up to 17. So that's the range of inconsistency. But today, before I started making this video, the readings were were uh, damn perfect at f about 14, 14.1, 14 with no load on. As soon as I switched the blower on, it dropped. I mean, it's charging again. So let's get round to this this component that I want to uh, fit the solid state uh, inside to. I've taken the cover off so you can see, and that is it. This is the insides. That is the Lucas RB310. And we've got three bobbins there. Left to right, the cutout. We've got, I think the middle one's the current regulator and the right hand one is the uh, voltage regulator, just from memory. Um, they, do, they, do serve, they do have a separate bobbin for current and voltage. These are the adjust, adjuster screws on top. And I have, I have set this up according to the workshop manual. And uh, those figures I've just shown you are uh, what results. So, I've just, I've just had enough of the uh, inconsistencies. You see the cutout there close in a minute when, when I increase the engine speed. And it opens again as the, the speed drops. The function of the cutout is to uh, prevent uh, the battery, the full battery uh, voltage and current from flowing through the dynamo uh, when the uh, when the generated voltage drops below a certain threshold. Uh, around equal or equal to battery voltage, if that makes sense. So it's, it's just a switch really that uh, isolates the, isolates the uh, generator from the, the battery. Otherwise, if that stuck shut, if that stuck shut when I uh, drop the revs, the uh, full battery power would uh, go through the dynamo and that would try and motor up. So that's it. I'm going to put the cover back on that now, but all this has been replaced by a solid state uh, kit that I've found on the internet, uh, which, will, which promises to solve all of these issues and give much more consistent uh, charging. So the next few videos will be detailing me fitting that, me fitting that and testing. It.